hi everybody. As Leo said, I'm Brenda, and I think I already briefly met all of you, and I'm so glad to see you. And uh, well, as Leo said, I'm about to finish my research internship at his team, and well, that's so sad, but I think I have learned like loads of things, and this time has been so valuable to me. And well, today I'm so happy to be in this RSATS club, and I'm gonna share uh, with you about this package called Postcards. P please uh, feel free to interrupt whenever you want. Um, and okay, so one of the most important things I have learned in Leo's team is that like, uh, uh, like, let the people know you is really important because it will allow you to make relations and collaborations. And so I think it's important like to show yourself to the world somehow and what you have done. And for this, uh, making a little website uh, could be uh, really useful. And so as Leo said in the email, uh, Sean Cross created this package. And with this package, you can design simple websites just like this, you know, like having your photo and some links to your Twitter, GitHub, or whatever you want. Uh, maybe something about you, your education experience, etc. Like a brief summary of important things so people can uh, know what do you have done? And well, I'm gonna start. I, I all the information I'm gonna give you uh, today is from these links. I sent this presentation through Slack through the uh, channel, so you can check it there. And okay, so let's begin with all the steps. Uh, you could like uh, follow the steps while I'm speaking. Do uh, you want to do that? And should I go uh, maybe more slow? Mm. Or, well, if you need me to pause, I, uh, please tell me. So the first thing to do would be to create a GitHub package. Uh, GitHub page, sorry. And uh, we want to create a repository that is called your username uh, .github.io, where username would be your username on GitHub. And so let me change. Well, you can watch this presentation in. Uh, in this Slack channel. I'm gonna share my desktop. So we would like create a repository. And here we would like put our, um, our username and then dot github dot io. Uh, we get a, a, a description or not. Uh, we have to make it public. And we get a uh, read me. Mm. Okay, so we will create this repository. Mm. Ah, thank you, Leo. Yeah, so we have it here. And Okay, so that's the first step. Make sure you put exactly your username uh, that exactly matches. So because if it doesn't match, it won't work. And are you watching now my presentation? Oh yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, and the next step would be clone your repository. So we want to mm, we want to go to a folder where we want to 
clone it. I guess you all know how to do this, but I will do it anyway. And here I'm gonna create like a directory and clone it through the terminal. We would do git clone, then copy the link of our repository, and there we have it. And returning to the presentation, uh, the next step would be We will go to R Studio or R, and we will install these package called postcards. And you can use this command to do that. Mm. So, well, I already have it installed. Uh, and well, should I wait a moment or should I continue? Okay. Yeah, just wait a little bit. For time for okay. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, I'll, I'll leave the command here. Looks like we're good to go. Uh, Josh gave us a thumbs up. Okay, okay, great. Okay, well, now that we installed the package, we want to create an R project. Go into uh, our studio file, new project, new directory, and we will find an option that says postcards website. And then we will, uh, enter a directory name for our R Studio project and choose one of the templates. So I'm gonna do that uh, slowly here. Uh, sorry. Mm. Okay, so we will go file, new project, and then new directory. And then we you will it, shouldn't, it, shouldn't it be existing directory because you already created it no. oh yes sorry yeah and then you will find here like the postcard the postcards website option and no so so if i already selected here Ah, uh, yeah. So, I would just go back right, to. Yeah, so I chose this folder. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Okay, and here we will select like the template we want to use. And I'm gonna show you like briefly, which are like the template options. Uh, here you can see several options, which I think this is like the same one, but with blue. And I think this is like the, sim the simpler one. It's just like a brief text about you. And well, you can all of course add things, but and has like the links and the one that I like the style is this one and this is the one I chose for my own. 
page. I think this one uh, is the one that Luis uses. And so we will, I'm going to go back to R. So we will select like the style. I'm going to choose this one and we will click on create project. Um, let's wait. So right, right now you're creating the project in a directory different from, from where you had your git clone, right? Oh, right. Uh, it, yes. Wait. I mean, you could always move those files into the into the other one, into the Brenda that part of the default bio. But I think, yes, I, think better, I think it might be better if you do it again from like file, new project, and then choose existing directory. Yeah. Okay, so file, uh, new project. Instead um, of new, no, no, go back. Instead of, yeah, choose existing. Okay. Mm. Um. No, the Brenda part of the one. Yes. See, now I hope this doesn't take that long. And then, you, like outside of it, you can copy the files, the, the index.rmd and the, and the image into your new project directory. OK. Well, while this charges, I can show you that we will have like two two files well the R project but we will have like an image that you can replace with your own image and a file that says index.rmd and this file the rmd is the one that we will be able to modify to add our text it would it will look like this you will have like the title, uh, the name of the image file and all the text where that you can replace with your own information. And this image, uh, this image can be replaced by one that you would like. Mm, I think this is ready. Should it be taking so long, Leo? Um, it, I've had trouble with like sharing our studio windows when I'm using Zoom. It can take a while sometimes. But I don't know. You have you have a lot of our studio windows. It might be uh, helpful to close some of them. Um, no, no, I don't think so. In fact, I don't. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you could also shut down our studio and just try opening the dot our project file that was created. Mm -hmm. Oh, was there loaded? No, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Inside of Brenda, there might be a, yeah. Okay, so in this our project mm. 
you need to copy the image and the index RMB files from. Okay, so I'll copy this and put it there. Okay, so now here we have, as I told you, the image and the index RMD file. And if we open the RMD file, we will see this that I told you. Uh, and you can modify these the links and all the text. And you can replace these and also replace the name of the, the like image here. And like, for example, I'm gonna do some modifications. I'm gonna add a new image. Mm. So I'll save this file and for example, I'm gonna take other image that I have here. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use this image. And change it here. I'm gonna delete this one. And I think the path is GPE. Okay, so now we can like modify as much as we want this file and also like the image. We would save this file and the next step would be, let me share again the presentation. We have to compile our HTML file for our site and we will uh, create a, a, an HTML file that is one that would be shown. And for this, we have to click on our studio the need button, or we can use this command to do this need. And so let's go. To our studio and so we we'll click need. And this is the HTML file that would be like created. And if we go to our folder, we will see that we have this file. And so we are almost ready to, to have our web page. And the next step would be to Well, we already have our files in the GitHub repository. The last time I like put it in some uh, directory and then move them. But the important thing is that you have like the GP, JPG file in your GitHub uh, repository, but also the file index HTML. So the next step would be to to add, commit, and push our changes to GitHub. And so I will do that. I would add them. Mm. Commit them. Mm. 
and I will push it. Oh, well, that should work. Uh, it's because I don't have like permission. Well, yeah, I don't have like my password there, but that definitely should work. And so if we- You wanna try pushing from our studio? Maybe that will prompt you for your username and password. Ah, uh, probably. I don't remember how to do that. Um, uh, on the top right, uh, oh, let me see it. Mm -mm -mm. We go to tools, I think. Um, I don't see there. Oh, um, fuel, maybe. I on the build, maybe. Mm. Like that. Yeah, yeah. I can also like give permissions from what account to the other. Ah, that's because you're using two different GitHub accounts, right? Yes. Um, I can do that quicker, I think. Mm. Yeah, we'll be under settings and access. Okay. Yeah, so um, Brenda made a GitHub account just to show all of this. <laughs> yes, and yes, I, yes, I, I, to not destroying my other site, but like I will give permissions to my other account so I can push it. Wait, Leo, does that mean like, if you wanted to make like a different website, like you, you can only have one website per GitHub account? Is that the? One, uh, um, you can have one uh, main website, yes. So um, you know how I have like lcoyalotour.github.io, that's my main mm -hmm. website. But then I have like, let's say the BioC team DS website, right? So for every um, GitHub repository, you can have another website. Okay, it so Brenda like, could have made like Brenda too. Like you can do that. No, oh, yeah, no. No, you need to make the Brenda two account. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yes. Um. You're logged in into with your. Wait, in what account am I? Ah. Uh, yeah, you need to like. Either open another browser with um, another type yeah. of browser. So instead of Chrome opening, I don't know, Firefox or Safari, uh, um, then logging into that. Yeah, it becomes a mess when you're trying to show two different accounts. <laughs> I don't know if I remember my password. <laughs> okay, so no, I'll, I'll do it here and I sign now and <laughs> sign me because I don't remember my password. Uh, or you could show the files you have on the, your your true website. Okay, you know, like, that yeah. works. No, 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 no. Okay, so um, where is it? Well, as you can see here, uh, as Leo mentioned, like you can put like in your repository, like all the files, the R project, the index point RMD, or you, as I previously did it, like you can just put the JPEG image and the HTML file, and that would be fine, perfectly fine. And when you push it, uh, that's the only thing you need to do. And 
the next thing you would want to try is to, uh, well, now this page, web page exists. And what you want to do is like, just put it in the browser and that should work. And that should make you have your tiny web page. Mm. And I wrote that in the steps, like you would have all these files. And if you go to username.github.io in a browser, you should be able to access to your page. And I think that's it. Uh, I, I think this is like a really quick, useful way to create a web page if you don't want to take uh, loads of time in it. And it's little and you can put like all just the information, the main information you need like to pre present yourself to others. Uh, do, does anyone has any questions? Okay, nice, nice talk. It works. So I'm happy. Uh, what if you want to attach a file? Like the picture thing, do you, would that be able, that would be possible or no? You know? Can you repeat the question? Sorry, I think my volume is like a little bit low. What if you wanted to attach a file? Like a mm. file, because like you you put in like live links to like a GitHub and stuff like that. Like you mean like if you just want to go directly to a uh, an image with that like like if you want to put a resume or something or a CV on there. Oh right. Hmm. I'm not sure about, well, I was thinking about doing it like, maybe you can create also a, your resume can be like also an HTML file and maybe you can link it to some of these buttons. Would that be possible Leo, or is there another optimized way? So let's say you have a PDF file, right? Or an HTML file. Um, uh, on the left side of what Brenda is showing, uh, you can add it to the repository, right? Just for example, right now we have uh, on the presentation, we have carlos.jpg, right? Um, on your in, uh, index.rmd, right? You will need to use um, a relative link. So that means the syntax is open square bracket, whatever text you want, close square bracket, open parenthesis, then let's say we're linking to carlos.jpg, that's what you put there. And so that will work later. Um, uh, so that will you know, make a hyperlink to, uh, to the relative file uh, position uh, pointing to carlos.jpg. And so you, it could also be carlos, uh, uh, carlos underscore cv.pdf, right? Or any file. Uh, GitHub allows you to load files less than 50 megabytes. Um, so you could upload, you know, you can easily upload any PDFs, right? Um, um, I guess if you have like, um, like with Kristen Maynard, right? We sometimes we have like uh, slide decks that, uh, that are like 150 to 100 megabytes big. That one it will be a different story. I mean, <laughs> but uh, for anything under 50 megabytes, you can easily add it. So. Thank you, Lou. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you need help with that at some point, let me know. But, um, like, my own website is far more complicated than like the one from postcards, yeah. but uh, it's a lot more painful to maintain. <laughs> right. So, uh, uh, postcards, it's a nice, like, I've seen people that had complicated websites and now transition to using postcards because it's a lot easier to just show information about yourself. So um, um, 
Let me share my screen quickly. So something else I think that is important to talk about um, uh, is like what to actually include in your website. Um, so like Brenda was saying, like you want to have like a web presence for people to find you, start collaborating with you to like get to know who you are, right? So like if they Google your name, they want, to, they want them to find you. And so this is a website from I'm showing here on the left a, a website from a former student that worked with me, Amy Peterson. And so we got feedback on from other people on what on what is the minimum information you need to provide. And so this at this point in her career, Amy was looking for a data science job. And so we wanted her to have some information that potential um, recruiters would be interested in. Right. So uh, well, now she's actually you know got the job. Right. Um, so she got in some information about where she studied, who she worked with, and what is the, uh, yeah, who she worked with and some links to that. Then uh, some main interests of hers, um, and they don't all have to be work-related, right? You could be like, hey, I like, um, I like going to swimming pools. I like, I don't know, uh, um, salsa dancing, whatever, right? Um, um, but that's in, you know, the main information you want people to get out of what you're interested in. And so then after that, we listed some of her main projects that she had worked on, right? Um, so this, like if anyone really wanted to like learn a bit more about the details of what she worked on, she could do that. And we had here, she had here a couple of presentations, for example, her capstone presentation, which was her like final presentation. Uh, so you can actually find the slides there, some other profiles. So that's the information that Amy and I like, if we look at Brenda, um, um, like, like um, it's a similar uh, style of information. So Brenda has a bit of a brief description of who she is and what she's been working on, right? Um, her education history and links to some of the projects that were, and people that she has worked with in the past. Um, and in, in Brenda's case, we, we have also like links to publications and like, you know, the problem with like when you never, whenever you list publications is that you need updated, right? So here, this is an example here from Brenda, right? Or like she made the website before we had a preprint, <laughs> right? Um, and so later on, you, you know, it takes a bit of time to update it and uh, actually link to the preprint type of thing. Right. Um, um, if you're using like Twitter for uh, work reasons, right, you, you know, or any other social media, you know, you might want to include the links to it. Uh, from my side of like, let's say if I'm trying to recruit someone, I like to look at their GitHub um, to see like, uh, like you can list on your CV that you have taken all these classes that you know all these different programming languages, but it's much easier to tell that by looking at their code, right? Can easily realize like oh they only like learn R on a class on a single class and then like did this very small thing right uh, versus like oh they've actually been using R for a project and I can see like a lot of what they've done um, and then um, some people like putting their emails some some people don't like putting their emails um, but um, you know, providing a way for people to contact you right is um, can be useful. Um, um, uh, but it's like, it also depends on how comfortable you are with the like random people emailing you. Uh, um, but yeah, um, so like, you know, that's Brenda's page. You can look at uh, Jeff Leak, who was my PG advisor, um, co advisor, sorry. Uh, like, he has links to even more websites, right? <laughs> Like here is like a collection of move marks of saying like, hey, these are all the different things I've done, right? Um, but it gives like a nice overview of, of what he does and what he cares about the most right now, right? Um, um, so he doesn't actually have, a, I think, an email here for him. Um, like he probably doesn't want to get any more random emails. <laughs> um, um, I'm not sure, right? But, uh, um yeah um i don't know if people have more questions for brenda 
questions? Do you have any other questions? I don't know, Louise, if you want to show yours too, right? You have a, yeah. I think you made one too, right? You did. Wait, wait, wait. I lost my Zoom window there for a second. Okay, yeah, there we go. So like, um, what I like a lot about postcards is that it's really easy to use and also it looks nice. So like making a website look nice can take quite a bit of time. So like Sean has spent a lot of time making sure that like the templates look nice. Yeah, so I think I might have to agree with Brent. This, um, I chose the more colorful black background, but I think that it gets hard to read when I put in these links on this blue kind of disappears into the purple. So I might transition to using the white one as well. But uh, yeah, I have to say that like when I built this, it took me like half an hour. I think like what took me the longest was like um, figuring out how to like format all of this, make it look nice. But the actually like, um, like GitHub part was easy breezy. So um, yeah, would recommend. Um, I should update it more, but yeah, yes. this is a good reminder. So, you know, this helps, especially if you're like, you know, trying to, like if you're applying to grad school or you're like applying for jobs, um, uh, it can help to have some web presence, right? Because um, this is where you control what people see, right? Um, about you, right? Um, um i sometimes like um used to like open google incognito and like google myself and see what what showed up first right so like back in the past my anime hobby showed up first <laughs> um things like that um and now like more more of my work stuff shows up first right um um uh, so it's you know interesting if you want to take a bit of control of of your own like web presence right um, to tell people what what you want to share with them. Um, later on, I think, uh, like if you're at a conference, things like that, right? Uh, it, like I've, I've live tweeted conferences myself, and at that point, it's really useful for me to like search the name online, see if their website comes up, and if they have a Twitter um, account, then I can easily find the Twitter. Um, and so then I, that way I can then tag them when I'm writing about their talk or something like that. Um, um, and because like Twitter usernames can be anything really, right? And so sometimes it's hard to find people that way. But if, if they have their Twitter on their like um, main website, then it's like, it makes it easy, right? Um, and so then by tagging them, then you're creating opportunities to actually network later on, right? Uh, Either other people that are like checking your tweets can can find more information about the author that you're talking about, right? Or the author itself might be like, "Oh, thank you for like for you know tweeting about my talk or something." Or if I had a question, then maybe they can answer it later. That's the thing. Um, so, um, yeah, I think. I mean, um, I've benefited a lot from having a web presence web presence myself and from uh, sharing things, but um, um, I know it's not for everyone, uh, but uh, uh, postcards makes, makes it easy you want to get started. Cool. Um, cool, yeah, so um, I guess, uh, Brent, I guess if I'll, oof, I'll send you the link to the YouTube video so you can tweet it and uh, maybe also um, upload your presentation somewhere, right? So people okay. can see it later. Thank you, Leo. I hope it was useful. And I think I totally agree about what Leo and Luis said. It is quite easy, quite quick. And like, you can just put like some essential information there, like, or I don't know, it's like a good presentation card. So, yeah, I, I highly recommend it to use it. 